What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. In today's one, we're going to be discussing a few tips and tricks to help you guys improve on Black Ops 4. Firstly, before we get into some gameplay tips, I do want to focus on a few mental things. Basically, you guys need to be prepared to fail because this game is very hard to get good at. The first, you know, 30 levels are very difficult and you guys just need to focus on trying to get better instead of just focus on trying to drop a mad amount of kills every game. But the first thing that I want to say is to not be concerned about how much you die. Just focus about the previous gunfight that you had if you died and just think about like how you could have improved because there will always be a way that you can improve. It's not just like you died out of nowhere. Like sometimes it might be like you might just die out of nowhere or you might just get beamed. But if it's a one-on-one -on -one gunfight and you lose, just focus on how you can improve for next time. Practice makes perfect. So the more you play, the better you you will get as I said the first 1 to 25 level are very very difficult so the more you play the more weapons you'll unlock and just in general the better you will get the last thing that I do want to point out is to not worry about your KD there's a lot of people that worry about their KD and just worrying about your KD isn't going to do anything for you you're gonna be focusing on getting kills and every time you die you're gonna be disappointed you might end up camping you might play a different play style to what you're used to and just KDs in this game are very very just uh, KDs in any Call of Duty, people care too much about KDs. No one cares about KD. You shouldn't care about KD. Uh, well, actually, people do care about KD, but you shouldn't care about KD until you're comfortable um, and you're used to the game. One more thing before we do get into some gameplay tips, I'm gonna try and suggest a few settings and a few external things that you guys should try and focus on. So sensitivity is always a very, very hot topic in the Call of Duty community. I've previously seen YouTubers recommend sensitivity and that's not the way to do it. Sensitivity is all about you. Sensitivity is all about your play style. If like, it all just, sensitivity is for you. You should never listen to what other people do. If you're comfortable for like a 10 sensitivity, go for it. One thing that I will suggest though is playing on a lower sensitivity is much better in this game because you've got to focus on hitting your shots. Currently I'm playing a 6.5 but that doesn't mean that you have to play 6.5. I just suggest anywhere from 1 to 7. That's what I'm suggesting. Obviously 1 is a bit slow so I reckon from maybe 5 to 8 is, is a good sensitivity. The next thing that I do want to suggest is customizing your button layout. Currently I play the well-renowned bumper jumper tactical flipped. Obviously as I said you guys don't need to play this but there's a lot of people that play custom button layouts stick and move is really good normal tactical is really good I'll put bumper jumper tactical stick and move and tactical all up on the screen for you guys to see and if you're currently playing default I would definitely suggest that you sort of switch because sliding jumping is actually pretty crucial in this game and to access those a bit better and a bit quicker it would be a massive help the final suggestion that I have is that you maybe go and pick up a pair of fatal grips or control freak control freaks a little bit more expensive and obviously fatal grips um, are pretty much the same just less expensive now these grips will help you with your aim um, your your movement they're pretty much grips on your thumbstick personally I I haven't purchased any but I will within the next few days. If you guys like to purchase some I'll leave the link in the description and at checkout use the code VANIX for 10% off all your purchases. Now without further ado let's talk about some tips in terms of gameplay. Make sure you guys take some of these tips into consideration even if you consider yourself you know, a good player. Stick to weapons that you're comfortable with. Obviously, if you're new to the game, find guns that you're comfortable with. Preferably assault rifles because most of the maps are long to mid range. I wouldn't suggest using SMGs until they get the buff because at the moment they are really not good with the increased health in Black Ops 4. At the moment, the best weapons in the game have to be the ICR, Vapor, ABR, and Rampart. Definitely try these guns out if you guys haven't already. Stick to the strengths of these weapons. For example, the ABR shouldn't be used at close range. Maybe sit on head glitches, use it for mid to long range, try and pick off some people. Another example is the ICR. It's really, really good at long range, however, not so good at close ranges. So use some map to your advantage and at the same time, focus on the strengths of your weapon. In terms of game mode, I would definitely suggest you start off by playing Control or TDM because less sweats will be playing. So you definitely won't find as many sweats on these game modes. If you play something like Hardcore Dom or Domination, you're going to be finding parties firstly and secondly, you're also going to be finding high prestiges. A playstyle that I would suggest for you guys to get a little bit better is a passive playstyle. A lot of people get 
a lot of people do get the impression that this game is easy and full of noobs. This is easily deceived by YouTubers, you know, their content is pretty much them destroying noobs. People hop into games with that mentality that, you know, everyone's going to be trash at the game. These YouTubers do make it firstly look really easy and secondly, they do get into easy lobbies somehow. It's a mystery. With that being said, lobbies will get easier as time goes on and the well-renowned Christmas noobs will come in um, around the end of the year. Play towards the outskirts of the map. Middle of the maps in this game are normally very complicated and difficult to get kills in, so focus on long range fights with weapons that you feel comfortable with. Also, focus on individualizing gunfights because of the health increase. Um, you, you can't really get triples and quads anymore in core. So just focus on trying to maybe kill one person, regen, kill another person, regen, do whatever you have to do. A massive tip that I just literally added was to use the acoustic sensor. It sounds really weird, sorry. The acoustic sensor, um, it's pretty much six cents from Black Ops 3, but way more overpowered. You see people from like 10 meters away with it, um, and it's just, it's just overpowered. Anyway, guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash a like button. Also, subscribe if you guys have not already. Peace out, and have a good day.